Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. My name is Mark Latwinko. Today we're going to talk about patient assessment in the Rescue Task Force operations. We're going to really spend time today talking about bleeding control, specifically today in the lower extremity, and how are we going to control that via a tourniquet. Mike here is going to go through the steps while I demonstrate what he has done. As you come up to your patient, you're going to apply a knee in the femoral area, which is ultimately going to buy you some time to get your tourniquet out, get it ready, and it's going to slow the flow of blood from the patient's injury. A patient can bleed to death from a lower extremity injury in as little as three to five minutes, so it's critically important that you get your tourniquet out and you get it on as quickly as possible. As he does this, he's going to come up the leg with the tourniquet, completely expanding the tourniquet. He's going to sweep up, making sure that the patient's pocket in that area is clear of any type of obstruction that would prevent this tourniquet from creating equal pressure around the entirety of the, of the extremity. We're going to look for things such as cell phones, keys, knives, pens, whatever it may be. As he applies the tourniquet, he's going to pull that first pull nice and tight. That's going to ensure that when he moves to the mechanical advantage that this tourniquet offers, that we're going to get the most from this. He's going to twist the windlass two to three times, and what we're going to look for here is to know that we have that tourniquet on appropriately, is we're going to see a stoppage of flow of blood from the injury in the extremity. Once that's done, he's going to lock the windlass in place, secure the tourniquet appropriately, and we're going to move on and check any other injuries that this patient may have. So today we covered tourniquet application for blood loss, specifically to a lower extremity. One thing to remember when you're applying the tourniquet is to make sure that you get it nice and tight. The goal of a tourniquet is to stop the flow of blood, not to simply just slow it down. As far as what tourniquet you're going to carry, whatever tourniquet you have on you at the time when you need the tourniquet is the right tourniquet for you. My name is Mark Latwinko. This is Mike Brown. Thank you for joining us with Fire Engineering Training Minutes. <laughs>